Hello, Rusty here. Um, I'm gonna do this in one cut as normal. We got a 1970 Volkswagen bus. I do not have a title for this. It was on a piece of property that I bought. It was abandoned when I bought the property. And uh, since we've made some modifications, I'll try to go uh, walk through it as quickly as possible. And uh, we'll start it up and we'll move it. And uh, I won't be taking it on the road because it's completely illegal. Hasn't been licensed since 1981. Um, you can see it's uh, seen some battle. Um, first modification in the front really is going to be get out of here. Well, the dog is in the way because he thinks he owns the world. So we'll show you from the top. Um, I put a different master cylinder. Um, the front brakes still leak. This is the actual shifter for the automatic transmission. You can see the radiator and the V8 Chevy engine. And it is a 305. The transmission is a turbo 350. The uh, gas tank is placed at back here. We have a fuel pump and all this is working. Got a tiny little drive shaft. Uh, made the ugliest cross member ever with this to, you know, to catch people when you run them over. Uh, there's a tiny little drive shaft. A G body differential leaks from the pinion seal. I fixed the leak in the, uh, I fixed most of the leaks on this thing, but I didn't get to that one. Um, this, I, it does open and it locks from the inside only if you want to push this push this tab in it'll it'll stay latched shut um, there's the fuel tank just a five gallon back here is where the uh, exhaust terminate and yeah there was some rat crap um, this is something that you would want to take and modify with some bushings I put a bunch of washers here because I didn't have the bushings I needed and probably some reinforcements. I would um, put some control arms, probably adjustable, so you can see if the alignment's quite right. Haven't really taken this over about 45 miles an hour. Um, so I can't say for sure. The engine is decent. Uh, it has one, one lifter making a little bit of an, a tapping sound and the transmission does hit all three gears. Got a new transmission pan on it. So of course, six GM car wheel, um, four and three quarters by five. This is the um, vent tube for the fuel tank. I don't know why this thing turns out. Catch can, radiator. The engine's not hot, you can see. Antifreeze, lots of new parts. Lots of old parts, lots of things for you to do. You can decide to make this thing kind of a sleeper. I thought about making a dog house from here running straight across and then all you would see is the fan and this would be pretty much hidden. The fuel tank would look odd, but it's not super loud. You can see the turbo 350 transmission new uh, trans mount the flex plate the starter i've been messing with the shims but i haven't got it quite right sometimes it doesn't want to engage we'll see if that happens or not if it does i just rotate the engine by the belt and then it goes ahead and engages there's still a lot of work to do if you want to put this on the drag strip and there's a lot of work to do if you want to make this thing a, a streetable vehicle and i kind of stopped at this point because um this is about where you need to decide what you want to do and you could do both but uh, i'm just not going to spend any more money on it i have other projects like that camaro that need to uh, start getting worked on so we're going to sell this baby on ebay and um, that's about it i'm going to go ahead and start it up i'll leave this part open so we can check it out when it's running the dog will definitely leave. 
We'll see if the starter is going to engage. This is the shifter. It does lock in the park. Um, I made a shifter rod. The brakes only operate the front brakes, and I notice it does have a leaking wheel cylinder, um, but it will stop. It's not something I'd want to put on the street. Well, there you go. So that's not too bad. Um, I didn't even pump the gas. I, uh, you know, you need a new cable for the gas pedal and a new bracket, but we can get at least half throttle um, whenever we uh, floor it. So the uh, lever is a little bit uh, wrong angle. So I'm going to go ahead and move this thing. We'll go around one more time. You can hear that one lifter tapping. That's how it sounds from the rear. The exhaust is, of course, exiting into this cavity. try things sometimes um, they're like 425 450 amps each so you know with a little bit of loss maybe even 600 amps is what's good to the starter and I had one lawnmower battery so I only bought one so uh, saved about a hundred bucks batteries are getting expensive go ahead and drive this thing you want some racing seats I recommend getting them.
everything's off. Not blown up. What else could you ask for? I'm sure you could tell when I peeled out in the gravel, it shifted the shifted to second gear pretty quick we don't have anything really adjusted it's just it is what it is and it's ready for you to take it the rest of the way so this one's gonna sell I'll probably set the reserve somewhere around 2,500 or so dollars uh, I just need to make back uh, some of the parts that I bought and I have enough to buy a transmission for that Camaro so I can sell that one thanks a lot and good luck on your bids